Hey everyone. So uh, I realized in this series that I'm doing here from St. George, Utah, or actually I'm in uh, the next town over, but this is St. George area, uh, on uh, how to take time away from your business, how to work remotely, how to take time off, how to not be tied to your uh, business. Um, before I get into some of the specific things around team and technology that I mentioned I would talk about, I realize I want to make sure that you're 100% clear that I'm not giving a misimpression. I said on the prior videos that uh, I am uh, partially off the grid, wa working part of the time the first two weeks, and uh, then looking to be off the grid totally uh, the last week when my wife gets here. And I want to make this sort of, you know, really clear is that, you know, one of the great things about uh, the things I'm going to talk about is that you don't have to be totally off the grid. I mean, I, I subscribe to being off the grid. You know, if you're going away for a week, try to be really off the grid for most of it or, you know, take your time. But when I'm going away for three weeks here, what allows me to do that is actually to be on partially on the grid. You know, I'm not Tim Ferriss. I'm not the four hour work week. I still run a business, uh, although my team does a lot of it. Uh, I am still involved. I need to handle the high level, uh, you know, strategy and structuring, and I still need to be on the phone with clients and checking over some of the more sophisticated things before they go out. So just to give you an idea what it looked like for me, I got here on Sunday night. Uh, I had some dinner. I actually did a couple hours of work in the room. Went to sleep, woke up early, had that amazing hike that I did the video about yesterday. You know, three hours, uh, three miles or whatever it was, uh, two, a couple hours up in the Red Rocks, which was phenomenal. I got back from that. Uh, and uh, had some breakfast, and then uh, I had a training session. I worked out with a trainer here. Uh, this is a health retreat. Um, I then uh, had uh, uh, a lecture on, uh, you know, on, uh, on, on a health-related topic, had some lunch, then I had a break. So I went back to the room and I did a couple hours of work. I returned some phone calls. I looked at some stuff. I returned some emails. Uh, then I went to the next workshop and dinner. And then last night I took off. Uh, I just, just relaxed. Uh, you know, I'd been traveling in the day before and sort of gone straight. Um, and then this morning got up, had uh, a wonderful, uh, had some breakfast, had a wonderful yoga class. I uh, just got back from that. I am about to go into the room. I have about 45 minutes. I'm going to check some email, return some stuff, look at something for a client. Uh, and then I go out. I have a nutrition consult. Uh, I have some lunch and then, you know, a couple of things this afternoon. And I have some more time blocked this afternoon. So what I've done is I've designated certain times that my office knows I'm available. They know I'm not available the other times. It's enough time to schedule with clients. Uh, not the non-essential stuff, but the stuff that, you know, really needs to be handled. So I, I just want you to be thinking about when you talk about getting away from the office, yes, there are certain times that it's great to be totally disconnected, to really get refreshed, but there's sometimes you can design it where you can be in wonderful places like this and do the hiking and do whatever your passions are, but at the same time run your business. So until tomorrow, folks, just think about that. I love you to take more time and spend more time in these beautiful places around the country and around the world and uh, take care of yourselves while having successful businesses. Take care now.